Porygon 2 freaks me out. It is way too powerful. No, it isn't. Way too bulky. It's just bulky. I do like Porygon 2, though. I would like a plush of Porygon That's a crit. Too. Oh, no. What? What? <laughs> what? What? Okay, never mind. Porygon 2 is amazing. No! That might be the power play in the next no! Nuzlocke I do. Maybe Porygon might be the new Suckum. Remember, we got a Shuckle in our uh, last Pokemon Nuzlocke, and I named him Suckum, and he was a tank. Maybe Porygon might be the new Suckum. At some point, we will do another Nuzlocke, okay? I'm gonna be honest, it's been a pretty shit week. I mean, you know, granted, I have COVID and I can't really go anywhere and this is this is my life. I think it might be time for us to switch gears to Pokemon. Something very special released today. Something that uh, every time I'm bored at like 3 a.m. I always go to this like little Nuzlocke animation. The Pokemon Ruby Nuzlocke by Jaden Animations. She just released the Platinum Nuzlocke today. The full animation of the attempt at the Pokemon Platinum Nuzlocke. I'm gonna go, okay, have a good day. Here's the thing, I don't watch her that much. I'm gonna be real. All I know is that that one Pokemon Ruby Nuzlocke was in my recommendations for the longest time And I just watched it at one point at 3 a.m. I'm like, you know what? This is better than watching like carpets being cleaned Does anyone watch those like really satisfying videos at 3 a.m. when they're really just bored or tired? I watched the detail geek now I've started watching carpet cleaning videos where they'll take like a completely destroyed rug like so dirty And they'll just start cleaning it and I'm like wow. I learned how to clean a carpet today. Thanks 3 a.m. <laughs> But genuinely, YouTube recommendations sometimes are a blessing. And it's thanks to YouTube recommendations that I found Jaden Animations. So I'd say, let's watch, let's watch the Nuzlocke. Let's, ah, so I feel. New here. <laughs> Fun fact, I haven't really done a, an official Nuzlocke before. It was kind of cheating, but also like, you know, my attempts have always failed. I think I did like a Pokemon Coliseum Nuzlocke too, and that did not end well. You guys saw that. So if you're new here, hi. I've done this before. Last year I made a video about my first <laughs> I love the pacing Nuzlocke of this so game far. I played Pretty great. Was, I'll explain again super quickly how a Nuzlocke works. You can only catch the first Pokemon you run into per route. If a Pokemon faints, it dies and you can't use it anymore. And you have to nickname your Pokemon so you grow more attached to them. If you still don't understand, that's not my problem. Let's Do the get soundtrack, started. Pokemon oh Platinum. This was my love Pokemon it. Platinum Nuzlocke. A Pokemon! <laughs> Neighbor Barry is practically dragging me all over the place with his hyperactive squirrel brain, frantically trying to get a Pokemon as soon as possible. Dude, Barry was a stalker. Rowan Can I just say, in the me. games, he in the show, he was better. Leap into the tall grass when hold it. You guys know going into the tall grass is I loved him. A death wish, right? Professor Rowan was badass. Suicide. He's like have the actual grandfather you wanted. Do you have any Pokemon? No. Do you want some? <laughs> I have a Turtwig. I named yes! Tur and yes! Immediately best starter. Here's the thing. Sinnoh so starters were probably the best starters, period. Like, anything you chose was pretty great. But, like, Torterra was the best you could go with, or Turtwig, rather. Because as soon as you got a Torterra, you got Earthquake, and you get you could just wipe the rest of the gyms. If you had a Turtwig, you were set for life. That was my first starter. The first battle. Let's see how we fare against youngster Tristan and his level 5 Starly. Oh, oh my god. So in the first trainer battle I ever fought, I almost immediately lose my starter <laughs> to a critical hit. Why do I suddenly have a very bad feeling about this? As That's foreshadowing. Onward, I kept on my way eventually arriving in Orberg City and nervously challenged Rourke. I was terrified of his Cranidos, but Turret landed a crit razor leaf and <laughs> one-shot it before it could even do anything. So that's badge number one for us. Galactic messing around, stealing electricity. And this little girl's dad. So I beat up oh the my god. The door, broke in, <laughs> beat up the grunts in the building until Turd evolved, then found Galactic Commander Mars at the end of the corridor, who I was scared of because she's got a fat cat that hits like a semi truck. Back so a normal cat. Lines, I caught Dwayne the Onyx, and I brought him to the fight because in case things got dicey, I would switch him in to buy time and heal up my other Pokemon. Basically, uh, <laughs> Dwayne was death fodder. Death fodder! <laughs> Dwayne can take a scratch. Look at that. Dwayne is Dwayne is fine. Wait till it crits. He's Dwayne's fine. Don't worry. Wait about till it him. quit. Don't worry Wait till about it crits. Him. Yep. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Somehow when Dwayne was supposed to die, he hung in there on one HP. And you know what? This is a giant like noodly rock. I let Dwayne live and I was able to take out the Perugly. What a legend. God damn. And I put him back in the box and moved on. <laughs> I caught a Bronzor I named Big Boy, yes. which I happily added to the team. Bronzor is, is such a tank. Love no it. No mercy for those flower ladies. Badge number two. We slashed the guard bushes in front of the Galactic Building and ran up all the stairs where we fought Galactic Commander Jupiter. Ah, ah, Oof. No! Oof. But let's just hit it. Don't oh. crit him. 
No. Oh my god. <laughs> we finally were able to <laughs> That is anxiety there, ridden. Really knocked the wind out of me. I was shaking on my way back to the Pokemon Center when this lady Cynthia shows up. Oh god. Like, Egg. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I forgot this happens. You get an Eevee in the game. Not gonna lie, though, even though I was not really as gay as a kid, let me just say, Cynthia was kind of a crush for me. Like, just sort of like a, a girl crush in general. Like, she was badass. And then when you fought her, you really wished you didn't have that much of a crush on her. Because goddamn that Garchomp and Dragon Rush was not a good combo. Rest in peace, my Lucario, every single time. To keep my mind off the absolute tragedy we narrowly avoided, I decided to start training up Big Boy on Psycho road and then he died <laughs> <laughs> why would you do that ponyta always shows up and flame wheel is a very oof <laughs> i walked into wayward cave and found a gibble, gibble what is an she just casually gets a gibble oh my god Pokemon. lucky it turns into garchomp which is easily one of if not yeah. the strongest Pokemon yeah in the game that how is legendary it took me like what a few days to realize i was missing a cave entrance to go and get you know the a gibble i didn't even know where to find one in diamond and now there is nothing in my way between that and nice <laughs> The turn to egg evolution is so underrated, people think like, oh shit, he's not gonna do any damage. Half the time you just kill these things. And we're moving on. I feel the that. The Ralts, Kronk, and Puppy evolved. We had a clean Ooh. win against Fentina, and some lady gave us an Eevee I named Milk. Things Wait, what's, what's with the egg then? It's arguably one of the best Pokemon you could ever have. Also, please tell me she went with a Jolteon on this. Like, okay, here's the thing. I know I went with a Vaporeon, but Jolteon, hands down, best evolution, period. I was leveling up DeVito against trainers, and when fighting this lovey dovey couple. Is that a Gallade? Uh, let's go into. Gallade? Gallade? Late, please. Oh no! Oh shit! With pursuit's a two twenty You're damage kidding. attack. How'd You're that kidding. kill? I'm what? Sorry. That wasn't a crit. Pursuit is such a weak attack. You use that when someone's about to switch out or they're about to heal. I mean, it's super effective, but come on! It's a fucking Curlia. Pursuit kills if she was about to switch out and hits first if the switching happens. Really? So it's a definite kill? What? There's strats to this? In came Shrimp the Scyther I caught on Route 210. Some good news. Scyther. On Route 213, I finally found a Shellos. I named Wait it Swoop, a minute. and I loved it. So question, did they change the evolution idea for uh, Scyther into Scizor? Wasn't it that you traded it or if you like got it to a certain level? Because I thought there were a ton more Pokemon that you had to like give things and then trade them in order to evolve them. Metal Coat would trade it. That's what I thought it was. So is she able to get a scissor in this? Or did they change that? Yeah, it had to be traded. So I'm not going insane here. My favorite child, and I wasn't apologetic about it. I trained also, it up, shell and now we got a Gastrodon. Jesus Kurt Christ. ended up evolving too. So together with Kronk and Squoop, Maylene was defeated, and badge number four was secured. Outside of Pastoria City, I caught a Quagsire yes. named Lol. But when yes. I went to get my Quagsire encounter, is a tag. I was trying to get a Yanma and accidentally threw a ball at a Whooper. So now we've got Lol and Oops in the box. Then I swept <laughs> Crasher Wake with Milk, who is now a Jolteon. Yes! With the Thank Thunder God! Robot. Jolteon, best evolution. If you're going for a Nuzlocke and you, and you want a good Pokemon, Jolteon's it. I don't know what else you could ask for in life. Also, Quagsire, low-key best Pokemon. Like, that thing, whew, stab Earthquake, whew, Jesus. She appears again and tells me to bring a charm to her grandma. So I'm like, yes, ma'am. We found her in Celestial Town along with Cyrus, the leader of Team Galactic, who starts some <sighs> evil Shakespeare speech speech about how everything is imperfect so he's got to blow up the world or something i don't know i wasn't really paying attention and then he wanted to Mood. fight puppy took out his sneasel and i sent out milk to take care of his goal bat but milk decided he wanted to be lazy and not only miss all his thunders but also punch himself in the face what about thunder punch then milk. oh no this is a crit oh no it isn't it still hurts Oof. you can't you can't be doing this Kronk came out and killed the Golbat <laughs> because Milk was being difficult, but I gave him a second chance and he took out the Murkrow. Nice. Anyway, here's your dusty charm. <laughs> really That's how I felt. Then arrived in Canalave City where we barged into Byron's gym and demolished yep. his team with Scoop and yep. Then Team Galactic sets off on the Torterra Cave Gang Clutch. So What's with really the bombings? Oh my god. I didn't realize how dark Team Galactic was. I gave him a bit of like, you know, a pass being like, hey, you know, they just want a different universe, but no, they're just blowing up everything. I mean, at least it's not as dark is like 
what team flare they want to just straight up just like destroy all life but like this is like a bit too cultish i'm gonna be real lucas and i split up to check on the lakes as i'm strolling past all the flopping magic harp i run into galactic commander saturn who oh yeah the, the legendary that, trio to, like, lake pokemon we finally we had to go check up on barry at lake acuity and yo okay i just kind of realized the story for diamond pearl platinum might have been the best i guess the more immersive because it's like okay we realize the these bombs are going off and like the Pokemon police isn't doing anything about it. I got a Torterra. We're going to send uh, the, the three people that we had start to each of the three lakes. But in reality, it's just me, the trainer, going to each of these lakes. Wait, how'd she? Wait, 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 wait. How'd she get a scissor? Did I miss something? Did she, did she cheat? I would have loved a scissor in my playthrough. Are you kidding me? Though just saying, one flamethrower and it's all over. But Candace uses ice types, which like half my team is weak against. And Frostless, which, you know, which has Blizzard. Nervousness rising. Not only <laughs> and was I at a hail. massive type disadvantage, but the main threats on our team Actually, no. Obama Snow because it hits just like use a still types. sets up hail. And a Frostless because it'll use the hail from the Obama Snow to heighten its evasiveness with Snow Cloak. Oh, Spam double teams, Snow and Cloak, then just sweep my right. Team. Diamond and Pearl is the start of not needing to trade to evolve by the way yeah tell that to the guy in the snow city that wanted my cadabra and gave me a haunter but had an everstone on it remember that i mean diamond and pearl started the whole like hey you don't need a trade to have these pokemon but also just like i'm still upset over that i worked hard to get that cadabra in turn to get this gengar that would be traded to me because technically it's a trade and it's like oh i can get a gengar from trading oh wait they they gave it an everstone they're like <laughs> you idiot but hey at least they're changing some things in pokemon diamond and and pearl and then platinums so you can get a scissor now by just giving it a metal coat and leveling it up so i'm assuming you could do the same thing with onyx then hold on i'm looking this shit up how to evolve scissor scissors yes give the metal coat to scyther and offer to trade scyther on the global trades to okay so you do have to technically trade it so they kept the trading thing how'd she get a scissor then the only way to evolve scyther is trade it with metal coat on it what what how'd she get this how'd she have this I'm having a headache from this. Anyway, I wasn't sure it could one-shot because Puppy's not a special attacker, and lo and behold, it didn't. I, it, it, it didn't miss. I mean, it's not gonna kill us because it's not stab. Please kill it, please. It's quad, it's quad. What? Eventually, Puppy took it out, but that was nice. absolutely terrifying. Last but not it's least, it's the biggest noodliest puppy. I wanted to have Scoop rain dance to get rid of the hail, so Frostlass's snow cloak is inactivated. Oh, so that's how they get the hail so going. Obama snow. HP, that wasn't gonna work out super great. However, since I didn't want Good old Obama to be in snow. this fight at all, right before the fight, I swapped her with Failure the Shinx. <laughs> yep. Sorry, little guy. <laughs> Failure. And as I healed up Scoop. <laughs> Jesus it's Christ. It's really unfortunate we had to resort to it, but Jesus. I give Failure for stepping up and surrendering its life to the team. Scoop came out, got off the rain dance. I mean, hey, it's not a Pokemon Nuzlocke if you don't have Death Fodder. We won, but it wasn't without sacrifice. Gone, but not forgotten. Rest now in we can peace, climb failure. the rocks to Lake Acuity, and when we got up there, Barry's got snot dripping down his face, nice. crying in the snow because he got beat up by Jupiter. How? He me and is like, see ya, I'm going to Veilstone HQ. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm gonna go to Veilstone. <laughs> oh man, it's so awkward. It's so great. Porygon 2 freaks me out. It is way too powerful. No, it isn't. Way too bulky. It's just bulky. I do like Porygon 2, though. I would like a flush of Porygon That's a crit. Too. Oh no. What? What? <laughs> what? Okay, never mind. Porygon 2 is amazing. No! That might be the power play in the next no! Nuzlocke I do. Maybe Porygon might be the new Suckum. Remember, we got a Shuckle in our uh, last Pokemon Nuzlocke, and I named him Suckum, and he was a tank. Maybe Porygon might be the new Suckum. Some point we will do another Nuzlocke, okay? No. Life doesn't stop when your dog dies, so I had to keep trucking. Yes, it does. You ki <laughs> You kidding me? Life does stop when your dog dies, at least to you. Life doesn't realistically stop, but like, to you... To <laughs> Shut up! <gasps> Porygon got nerfed. Yeah, that's fine. But hey, she got a Quagsire now. With an the tank. Blood curdling thirst for revenge. I stormed Jesus into Christ. Room. Fight! Shrimp and Milk <laughs> took out his team in no time. I snatched his Master Ball and used his teleport pad to enter the basement where Mess Spirit, Azelf, and Yuxi are all being held captive. Oh, nice. 
fight and like Cyrus, <laughs> Saturn was swept. After releasing the late guardians, we head to Mount Cornet because Cyrus wants to go there and destroy the planet, I think. And we catch up to him at the Spear Pillar. Before we can run up and attack him, Mars and Jupiter step in. Then Barry arrives. Honestly, I have no idea how he found us all here. And it's like, <laughs> I'll help. Lol takes out both the Bronzers, Mars is Prugly, and Barry's Munchlax. So I thought, nice. you know, it was Mood. all smooth sailing, right? Well... Ooh. Oh my god, no, it has Giga Drain? No. Five levels ahead though, you should survive. No. Oh no, oh no. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> so I was starting to feel bad, Oof. but then I started panicking. The thing is, after you fight Mars and Jupiter, you have to go into the distortion world and fight Cyrus and Giratina. If Cynthia forces us into the distortion world without us being able to get a new <laughs> member, we're in massive trouble. We finished up the battle and Cyrus starts his whole spiel about how the world is imperfect, blah, blah, blah. Everything must die except for me. Then he gets swallowed up by Giratina. A hole That's opens a, a rip in space leading to the destruction. Dude, Cthulhu. Kind of Maybe Cyrus really is just HP Lovecraft. Maybe that's what it is. Cyrus is literally just HP Lovecraft. And Team Galactic is the, are, are the HP Lovecraft stands. I figured it out. So I guess that makes sense with what Cyrus is trying to do here. Cynthia, can I can I go? I have something to do. Our world will be destroyed. Yes. Are you ready? No, I'm not. Let me go. I'm free. <laughs> I'm sorry, Goodbye. Lol. We just got you, and then you died. Dude, I love. But luckily, I love Craig Sire. When I accidentally caught that whooper while trying to get a Yanma. Is that cheating? We got oops leveled up. Came back to the spear pillar where Cynthia was just sitting there waiting for us, and hopped in. And suddenly, I'm on a floating crest of land with Cynthia, who's basically like. Cyrus, get lost and never come back. And Cyrus didn't like that. So he came at me. <laughs> I am angry that the champion is arguing with me. I'm going to show her who's boss by beating up this child. I, I love the logic in this game. So great. But I was very terrified because Cyrus's Gyarados has Earthquake. So if Milk Ooh. misses his thunder here, he dies. And Milk is notorious for missing his thunders. But it hit. Milk lives another day. He also oh! took out Cyrus. I love Jolteon. But Look at it. He's such a bean. I love Jolteon. Oh my god. I'm melting, okay? No, Luxray sucks. Okay, listen. Luxray, I know. Oh, wait. Isn't there something in one of the movies or TV shows where Luxray dies? Anyways, Jolteon. I love Jolteon. Jolteon's great. Look Cyrus at him. steps aside, and suddenly it's just me and the angel of darkness itself, Giratina. It's so terrifying. Um. Vor? Yep, yeah, that is, uh. That's what a fursona feels like. Oh! Um. I don't remember this in my game. So did Giratina just, like, rip her in half? Like, spirit and body sort of thing? What did just happen? I don't remember Giratina being into BDSM like that. I threw the Master Ball. And like that, it was over. I saved the world. Now to get back to my <laughs> I arrived at Sunny Shore City and started making my way through Vulcan. <laughs> no easy. That's exactly how the final gym felt. It's just spinning in circles. <laughs> I don't know why I think that's so funny, but it's so accurate to my playthrough, damn it. Gym leader, and he's supposed to be tough, and apparently he's depressed because everyone who challenges him isn't good enough, and he's bored. But I wasn't concerned. I mean, he's we blonde, of course he's none bored. None of his Pokemon can do anything. <laughs> it's not like they Quagsire. <laughs> I'll admit, I got a bit scared. Okay, don't Just one it. Quagsire is all it takes, and this gym is a breeze. Impact. That would be really un- Holy- but it's all good. We're all good. And with that, I'll <laughs> This just captures every Jaden Animations video I think I've ever seen, period. This this one image is... <laughs> Dude, Quagsire is such an underrated Pokemon. Everyone gives it so much shit because you just get it so easily. And then you're like, oh, it's so weak. It's so ugly. The thing can tank. It has a stab earthquake. I don't know what you're talking about. You've got everything you need for the rest of the game with one Quagsire. Quagsire. Wait, Pog Jaden? Last scene? Really? There is a po Holy shit, she's pogging. Pog Jaden. <laughs> It's just the small things in these animations that really bring it together. Like even the the fucking I'm assuming it's the artistic liberty of the uh the 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 Giratina fight where you know you split the personalities or whatever. Like that's still good. I thought this was going to be more just like for the shits and giggles, but nah, there's some depth to this Nuzlocke. God damn. Caught ourselves a gabite I named Flakes. 
What? Been... I don't remember catching a Gabite in that final cave area. Maybe she's just lucking out here. Again, she has a Scizor, so hey, anything goes at this point, I guess. Better late than never. It's good to have just in case something goes horribly wrong out of nowhere. Staraptor is a tag. Okay. This is not gonna end well, is it? Whoa, 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 whoa. No! Yep, do okay. not underestimate a Staraptor. And that's the straw that broke the camel's back. After Puppy died, I stepped Aww. back and decided the team we go into the Elite Four with needs to be the best possible team we can build the elite four here goes pretty hard so i yes. couldn't go in willy-nilly just hoping for the best after literally a few hours of calculations and research i settled on a team i thought would give us the highest possibility of winning i added flakes to the team wait where'd she get the what and... what where'd she get the toga kiss hold on did i see that right a heavy heart left milk and cronk behind as i brought no you could what how'd you get it there okay i can understand magneton but Togekiss? Oh, right. The egg from Cynthia. Right. To be fair, though, Togekiss is pretty great. That's actually a good solution if you don't have a Staraptor. But, like, I honestly prefer Staraptor, personally. Even though I was sad to not bring Milk and Kronk into the final battles with us, they won't be forgotten. And it doesn't negate the fact they were such huge assets to the team, and I wouldn't have made it this far without them. I'll see you guys on the other side. I took a step towards I don't know. the doors of no return and immediately got interrupted by Barry, who wanted to have one last fight. Anyway. It. <laughs> it, that's how it always goes. Rival battles. It's always like, you're just a nuisance. Go away, please. Thank you. Uh... Dude, I told you, BDSM changes Welcome. a man. Or this is the Elite Four. Everyone. Changes everyone. The starts and C takes out Aaron Zan, Megan, Why does that Elite Four member look like a bug? Well, he does have bug Pokemon, so there you go. Next up is Bertha. I mean, Bertha to be fair, Rhyperia. Pumps, Ooh, Rhyperia. Ooh. Ooh. Through her team. I felt a horrible shiver when her Rhyperia came out, but things went well. On to Flint. Mood. What is happening? Did I miss something? I mean, yes, you know, ripped between two. Oh, 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 that's what that means. The Giratina glitch parts, I'm pretty sure might be a reference to the movies. I mean, I saw the movie with Giratina in it and it was pretty shit. I'm going to be honest. But yeah, I guess. Oh, OK, that makes sense. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to see if this is exactly what's happening. She failed the Elite Four and gave herself a do over. What? But luckily, Oops and Flakes had no trouble plowing through them as well. Easy. And with that, we're on to the last member. Lucian. Now, Lucian Tim hasn't had much time to shine in these fights so far, so I decided I wanted to let her go all out. How did you get that? And bullet punched everything. Proud of you, shrimp. I'm so upset. I wanted a scissor for so long. And suddenly, I'm at the entrance to the champion. The trainer who's been known to crush dreams in a single battle, and many still fear to this day. Still have a crush on Cynthia, well. okay? Listen. And I don't know how to feel about it, but I looked up, and there she was. At this moment, I have only one last objective. Defeat Cynthia. She leads with Spiritomb, which has no weaknesses, so I sent out Turt to hit it as hard as possible. Yep. Flakes takes out her Togekiss, and then her Garchomp comes out. This is known to be one of the toughest boss Pokemon in the entire franchise. She's got a and team. And rightfully so. That thing was made by Satan himself, and I'm sure even he fears what he is creating. But you have one! You're fine! Oops, who's the only Pokemon that can lead us to victory here. I planned to put it to sleep He's gonna use a stab earthquake, isn't it? And then I scream it? it until it died. That was our only hope. Earthquake. But then, oops, is crit. And... That was it. Nothing on my team can take a hit from this monster. And even if they could, they couldn't do much damage Or Dragon back. Rush. I sat there in disbelief, knowing there wasn't anything I could have done. And the battle is basically unwinnable now. I brought out Shrimp to bullet punch it so we could get in a little bit of damage, but she was killed. Colgate tried to chip away at it. He did some damage too, but was crit one shot. At this point, I had accepted defeat. Only Turt, C, and Flakes were left. It's hopeless at this point. Flakes came out, and against all odds, Flakes outsped Cynthia's Garchomp and killed it. I Better didn't IVs? Think he, could do it. he was two levels weaker, and I just... I, Better I IVs? I, just, I just didn't think he could outspeed it. That's Better it. IVs? There was a chance. We could win this after all. Cynthia brings out her Milotic, which C took out with a few Thunderbolts. That Flakes thing's a took tank. Out the Lucario with Dig. Remember Obama? Oh, Remember Dino Obama, the, the, the Milotic? There. Finally, her last Pokemon comes out. <laughs> Roserade. That's Flakes it. went in for the Dragon Claw, and the battle was over.
Hey! Yeah. Cynthia is congratulating me. He's got so much sass still. God damn, Cynthia. So much sass, even like, won. you won. Good and job. Cynthia's okay. Look at, look at that. So much sass. A sudden feeling of overwhelming guilt washes over my entire body. So intense, it almost knocks me down. I don't think I deserve this. Something here isn't right. This wasn't meant for me. Back in the distortion world, you should have been wearing 3D into, glasses. How do I know I'm me? What happened in the uh, other timeline? Where I saw glimpses of what happened parallel to this world. Oh, that was really those things happened. Was that the ending I'm destined to have? The world I'm living in now is how I want things to be, but the other Jaden is equally me as I am her. Even if you might think I deserve this dimension, things don't work like that. Are there some things you can't escape, even when you try everything you can do to alter it? I don't know the answer. I may be able to sit on this throne now and thank all the Pokemon that put in everything to help me get here. All the hard work, blood, sacrifices we made, but I don't think I can ever accept this victory. I don't know what ending was meant for me. And I don't think I ever will. You know, some part of me wants to be like, why am I getting multi-dimensional theory with my Pokemon Nuzlocke? So I'm assuming what happened was, based on what someone spoiled in chat, that she failed the Nuzlocke? Technically? What happened? Does anyone know that was there? Does it say anything more? This is just credits, I'm assuming. We gotta go to the comments. Just in case everyone was confused about the parallel worlds, while well, originally in Jaden's stream, her team was wiped out by the Elite Four before challenging Cynthia. Bertha basically wiped out Jaden's entire team and she reset the game before she entered the Elite Four because it won't be entertaining and boring for us that she didn't challenge Cynthia. I mean, I guess it's pretty neat. I honestly thought that something happened around like the uh, the dimensional thing where she literally lost then. Like Giratina wiped her out or like Cyrus wiped her out and, you know, Nuzlocke lost there, which would have made sense according to, you know, the ripping apart of things. But that's actually a good creative touch. God damn. The way she went about doing it in this, I guess, animation was really good. What I'm not sipping. Shut up. Oh, man. I definitely get the feels with that. Like, imagine being that close to finishing a Nuzlocke. Like, let alone the second one, where the first one was emotional enough, and then you got this one, where there are, like, double the losses, and you just have that more of a connection with the characters and the Pokemon, especially in the story. Like, the story in Pokemon Platinum, Diamond, and Pearl, in my opinion, was the best out of all Pokemon games. I mean, Emerald was pretty good, too, and uh, so was Soul Silver and Heart Gold, and so was... Uh, it every other game but still all things considered i definitely get that from an emotional standpoint from this being technically my first pokemon game that i was genuinely excited for that i understood what was happening i get the feels with this i'd be surprised if this doesn't get an award because it has the good mix of all the emotions the good times the bad times and then in the end it's just like that's a good way of spinning losing a Nuzlocke into this story. This is an artist that really knows how to bring out emotion in their animations, and that's why I have nothing but respect for Jaden. So there you go. That's uh, Furry's react to a Pokemon Platinum Nuzlocke animation.